We do these operations that are sight unseen and it just reassures the public that we are doing what we're here, here to do to keep them safe. More than a dozen people caught shoplifting in Sarasota County sting operation. We'll have some tips to stay safe while shopping this holiday season. Plus, a confession leads to an arrest in a recent Manatee County murder. And new equipment for Northport Police that could make them more transparent. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Erica Jackson. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Jacqueline has the evening off. Our top story as we kick off the busiest shopping season of the year. Sheriff's deputies are looking for shoplifters. In fact, deputies with the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office caught 15 people stealing in Sarasota and Venice over a three day period last week. ABC 7's Taylor Torrigano is live at UTC Mall, which is one of the areas deputies focused on. Taylor? Good evening, Erica Scott. The Sheriff's Office partnered with local retailers like UTC Mall, Walmart, Target, and others to help catch people like these and get them off the streets. Now, a lot of this theft was caught on surveillance video. We'll show you in just a second. And 13 of the 15 people deputies arrested were no stranger to the law. We are trying to catch those individuals who are committing retail theft crimes. From a three day operation, 15 arrests and 31 charges. But altogether, these criminals caught by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office have 371 prior charges and 142 prior convictions. Probably the most surprising thing is the amount of charges that some of these individuals involved had and they're still out in the streets and committing these crimes and they're really not getting it. Uh, they still believe that they can get away with this in today's day and age. During the operation, the stores these thieves targeted vary as much as the items they stole. It runs the gamut from cat food to bikes to clothing to drinks. So really it, it, it's all ends of the spectrum. You know, you have one individual stealing a, a pair of uh, wire snips and you know, he gets a he gets a felony out of because anything he steals based on his arrest history is a felony. In fact, that's one individual you might recognize. Jesse Fleming is the brother of Luke Fleming, who was just arrested for a 1999 cold case murder. Jesse had his own plethora of priors. This time he was caught stealing those wire snips from this Home Depot on Cattleman. That's crazy to know that people get to that extreme to steal things. Though most of these thieves stole items from stores, deputies are using this as a reminder that leaving your wallet or purse unattended is never a good idea. Keep your purse with you. Keep your wallet on you. Don't leave it on a counter. Don't leave it in a shopping cart. Make sure you know where everything is at all times. Absolutely. Everything will be with us from now on. And as the gift giving season draws near, deputies say to make sure you're always aware of your surroundings, looking out for anyone who might be looking to target you. And don't forget, lock your car and hide your valuables as you shop. I'm live at UTC Mall, Taylor Torgano, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Taylor, thank you. An arrest is made in a recent Manatee County murder. Sheriff's deputies say a man has confessed to shooting another man, then setting his body on fire. Deputies arresting 38 year old Aaron Koziak for the murder of Antonio Bradley. Koziak was initially considered a person of interest in the case and arrested on unrelated charges. But during an interview, deputies say Koziak confessed to shooting Bradley, then moving his body to MJ Road in Mayaka City and lighting it on fire. A person who lives in that area found the victim's body last Wednesday. New details now in a deadly hospital shooting in Chicago. Tonight, Mercy Hospital is mourning after loss, losing two of their own and an officer who gave his life to protect others. Pharmacy tech Dana Less, just 25 years old, Dr. Tamara O'Neill, remembered as a wonderful doctor, devoted to her patients and to her church, and Chicago police officer Samuel Jimenez, who was nearby and rushed to the scene as shots were fired. We cannot thank him enough for, for his courage and bravery today. Authorities say the suspect, 32-year-old Juan Lopez, first opened fire in the parking lot, killing Dr. O'Neill, his former fiance. Doctors and nurses then scrambled to protect patients when the gunman moved inside the hospital and began shooting at random. The shooter was killed by police. Here on the Sun Coast, the Northport Police Department is moving forward with a program to make them more transparent. 
For the next 30 days, selected officers will start training and evaluation on how to use body cameras, making them the only law enforcement in our area to do so. These body cameras will record high definition video and audio of the interactions police have with the public. And then they will be downloaded to the Northport Police database when they return back to the station in a timestamp secure server. All right, let's get a check now on our weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. We had a, some people saw some showers today. I saw some showers. Yeah, here's Bob with more. <laughs> yeah, some uh, showers and some uh, heavy rain at times across South Sarasota County and associated with a prefrontal trough. Get a look at this amazing video from our ABC 7 tower cam just taken uh, from 423 this afternoon. That long stretch of clouds that you see there, that's the outflow and out ahead of an actual cold front that's called a roll cloud. And I'll put it in motion and show you an uh, amazing video of that just kind of rolling on by down towards Sarasota and then places to the south. So folks in Venice are going to see that and also all the way down into Inglewood. So get a picture of it, send it to PIX, P I X at mysuncoast.com. We already had several photos sent in already. Well, here's our current conditions now as they stand at the Sarasota Bradian Airport. The temperature is a, a little bit cooler at this time than yesterday, 74 degrees. We have a few clouds around, the humidity at 71%. The dew point is what's dropping now, and the winds are out of the north northwest at 13. So that was the actual front in the uh, clouds associated with it, that road cloud uh, that you saw right there. Those winds switching now to the north northwest at 13 miles an hour. Well, here's the radar picture showing some of that rain that was around earlier. Uh, now that heavy rain off the east coast of Florida. We had some moderate to heavy rainfall at times over South Sarasota County into uh, DeSoto County as well. You see it right there kind of streaming off to the east. Uh, we didn't get much in Manatee, a few showers earlier this morning, not much in North Sarasota, but there were a few around. And now for the cooler and drier air to settle in as this high pressure works its way off to the southeast. Well, much more in our cooler yet drier forecast as we take you into Thanksgiving coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now with uh, the sell-off continuing on Wall Street. I, I expected to see your bottle of Pepto today. Well, I thought about it, but I didn't want to make fun. They're starting to hurt a little it bit is. for our viewers, and frankly, those of us who are in the business, not a lot of fun either. We're down 648 points at the low of the day. Well, we were down 648 points. Didn't close anywhere near that number, but we have been down 947 points in just the last two days. And as of the close of business today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Standard & Poor's 500 Index are both lower for the year, while the NASDAQ, which had been way ahead, is still in positive territory, albeit barely. Combine that with the fact that the, all 30 stocks that make up the Dow Jones Industrial Average finished the day lower. Now, that being said, let's take a look at the numbers. They're not as bad as 648, but they're not very good. There you see the Dow down 552 points, 2.2%, .2 closing at 24,465.64, that on volume of 689 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day continues to fall down 120 points, 1.7% at 6,908.82. That on volume of 1,631,000,000 shares, and it's a clean sweep. The S&P now down for the year, down 49 points, 1.8 percent at 2,641.89. Well, down was the operative word today for Target. Yes, indeed, shares of Target fell by a whopping 11 percent in one day. That after the company announced its third quarter earnings that came in well shy of Wall Street expectations. The company did say it still does expect a strong holiday season, but the truth of the matter is Wall Street's not buying it. Same store sales were down, not by a lot, but in fact they were down and we'll have to see where they go from here. But so far it doesn't look like a rosy picture. The only part that was positive for Target was a 20% increase in toy sales. And I think we can chalk that up 100% to the fact that Toys R Us is no longer in the business and no longer a competitor. Yeah, that could be very possible. And how about yeah. some news that you have for us on Apple? Well, not very good news there either. Of the 30 Dow stocks, it fell the most, down 5.2% for the day. It's down to $177 a share. It's not long ago, it was at 220. All right, Richard, thank you. You're very welcome. Coming up, snowbirds making their way back to the Sun Coast. How the recent red tide issues could impact their return. And Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your first alert weather forecast. Plus, if you're traveling for the holidays, some health hacks to avoid getting sick. The 
ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. Part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Get the best Black Friday deals right now during the Black Friday sales event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. The Ram 1500 has been named the Consumer Guide Best Buy for six years running. Right now, get the all-new 2019 Ram Quad Cab for as little as $26,999. Or save big and get up to $10,000 off a new Ram Bighorn Crew Cab. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota. Minnesota's only area rug superstore. Kettle's got it. Kettle's got it. It's year in clearance time at every Kettle location. Over 3,000 new vehicles, over 1,000 used vehicles on clearance right now at Gettle.com. And Gettle Pre Owned Certified Plus means buying with peace of mind. Get credit help, fast cash for your car, and year in clearance prices right now at a Gettle dealership near you. Kettle's got it. This time of year, snowbirds start making their way to the Sun Coast, but will coverage of the red tide bloom from the past few months keep some of them away? ABC 7's Alan Cohn gives us a look at what Visit Sarasota County is saying. Alan? Scott Visits Sarasota County says red tide has made a huge impact on tourists visiting the area. In fact, it says this past September was one of the lowest occupancies ever for that month. Visit Sarasota County is making sure visitors are aware of the other things Sarasota has to offer. And while we have beautiful beaches, we're very lucky that we have so many things to do off the beach, and we just make sure that our visitors are versed with all there is to see and do. And tonight you, at 7, you can hear about more about what Sarasota County is expecting for the, this snowbird season. Back to you. All right, Alan, thank you. And, uh, of course, we know the weather brings him here, and we've, we've had course. some pretty nice weather lately, but some rain moved, moved through, through areas. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, we did not get the rain where I was. I had a little brief shower at around 845 this morning up near Cortez, and then we went out fishing, and there was a little red tide, a uh, little bit. Uh, and then as we moved in through uh, the northern portion of Sarasota Bay, and got underneath Cortez, there wasn't any red tide, and uh, we caught some fish in the All mouth right, of uh, Manatee River yet there. Good. Uh, so not too bad, and that's where it's been showing up lately as far as uh, the fish go. Uh, we'll have more on that fishing report uh, later on this week. Uh, this is a look at the Lakewood Ranch webcam showing uh, some clouds around occasionally today. Most of the rain fell in South Sarasota and into Charlotte County as well as into uh, DeSoto County and you can see uh, skies are clearing now. Winds have really picked up out of the northwest. So now we have that front that has moved through. It's going to cool things down and dry things out. Beautiful shot uh, right here of this roll cloud that uh, moved on through just about a half hour ago. Uh, this is from Ronnie Tobin who sent this into ABC7. Uh, again, pics at mysuncoast.com. 
Uh, that interesting cloud formation right there is the beginning of the cooler and drier air uh, creating that little cloud formation that you see right there. Well, here's a look now at the weather headlines as they read cooler overnight. Uh, low temperatures will be back down to seasonal averages, upper 50s to low 60s, and then a nice Thanksgiving. We'll be all thankful about that. Uh, temperatures in the mid 70s for highs and low temperatures to start the day on Thanksgiving into the mid to upper 50s across the region. And then a system moves in late Saturday, bringing with it a good chance for showers. Uh, not much of a chance for thunderstorms. Uh, that's very small, but showers a definite possibility. A late Saturday afternoon continuing on into Sunday morning. Well, the temperatures currently it's already cooled to 58 in Pensacola, 69 in Jacksonville, 74 in Orlando. Temperature 79 though in Miami and 80 degrees in Key West. Temperatures mid 70s here. You'll start to watch these go down real quick now that that wind has switched to the northwest. The Gulf water temperature at 75, Sebring at 79 degrees and 74 in Bradenton. Uh, lows tonight will be 63 in Port Charlotte, 59 in Northport, 59 in Mayaca City, 62 in Osprey. So this is a pretty much seasonal temperatures for this time of year. This morning's lows were in the low 70s, which is uh, unseasonably warm. Uh, that is going to go away for a couple of days at least uh, through Thanksgiving and Friday. Those winds will be out of the north and they'll quickly switch around to a northeasterly direction after 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And they'll stay anywhere from 5 to 10. They may pick up a little bit in the afternoon, uh, becoming a little bit more out of the north. That'll keep us cool. That'll keep us drier. Uh, at least uh, temperatures into the mid to upper 70s for highs on Wednesday and Thursday. All the rain is gone for the most part. We're not looking at any uh, kind of shower activity moving in. Once that front passes your location, uh, things really tend to dry out and we saw that rain heavy at times over parts of South Sarasota near Northport near Venice and into uh, Inglewood as well as Port Charlotte. Uh, but now that rain that was over Sebring is all but gone and to the northeast still the snow falling in parts of Maine now. And as far as the satellite imagery goes, we still have this zonal flow. It's called west to east overhead, and uh, we'll see occasionally some high cirrus clouds around. But these are low clouds here indicating the cooler air over the northern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Well, as we take a look at what's happening as far as the GFS model goes, we'll take you through time and another snowstorm for New York. That's a quick hitter. And then high pressure will dominate through Thanksgiving and through Friday across the eastern two thirds of the nation. But this high is a very cold high and so the Macy's Day Parade on Thanksgiving is going to be one to remember in terms of cold air and very windy conditions as well. 74 right now the winds have switched to the north northwest at 13 and the pressure 30.05 inches temperatures for current temps into the 20s and 30s in places like Minneapolis, Toronto and Cleveland. Uh, 35 now in Boston for boaters tomorrow winds will actually pick up in the afternoon at 15 knots. We'll start the day off at 5 to 10. There'll be a moderate shop out there uh, and the seven day forecast calling for lots of sunshine on Wednesday. Thanksgiving Day Friday even looks to be pretty good. Maybe a few more clouds around and then things start to change over the weekend with those afternoon showers moving in on Saturday. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Let's check first alert traffic as we often see this time of day. The northbound lanes of the interstate backed up between Fruitville and State Road 70 in Manatee County, but the southbound lanes looking all green at this hour. Erica. Scott, thank you. In health news tonight, can what teenagers watch on TV make them more likely to commit suicide? ABC's Elizabeth Hur tells us about a popular TV show that mental health professionals claim is normalizing suicide among teens. It's just a story and kids know that, right? But a new study says television shows can influence teenagers in ways the show's creators don't foresee. When the popular show 13 Reasons Why about possible reasons for a teenage girl's suicide came out, parents and mental health experts feared it could be dangerous. And according to the study, they may be right. A significant number of suicidal teens treated in the psychiatric ER said that watching the show increased their suicide risk. Of the 87 teens they surveyed, half had watched the show. Of them, 21 said it heightened their risk. Now, the show is in its second season and has a disclaimer urging young adults to watch the show with a trusted adult. Though Netflix, the producer, says that their report showed 71% of the teens who watched talked to parents stop. about the show. But this independent survey says most do not. Of course, the new study isn't saying that teens who watch will attempt suicide, but those who are in a precarious state could be influenced, and nobody wants that. For this Medical Minute, I'm Elizabeth Herr, ABC News.
Americans are being asked not to eat any romaine lettuce. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say it's due to E. coli concerns. 32 people in 11 states have been infected with E. coli blamed on the romaine lettuce. Another 18 have fallen ill from the same strain in two Canadian provinces. And since no common grower, supplier, distributor or company has been identified as the source of the outbreak, the CDC is advising all Americans to throw out any romaine lettuce they have at home. Restaurants and stores are also being asked not to serve or sell any until more is known about the outbreak. Are you traveling for the holidays? Before you board that plane, consider these three simple steps to help keep your festivities sniffle free and your season bright. Be on your germ guard. Use disinfectant wipes for surfaces like tray tables and seat headrests. Also, wash your hands and change your clothes after your trip. If your hands pick up microbes of the flu, staph, or respiratory virus while traveling and you touch your face, you can become infected. And before you leave for your trip, start to build your immune system now with proper food, exercise, and sleep. Coming up, a hot air balloon full of fireworks explodes during a festival. And a gas-stealing suspect almost goes up in flames. Those stories are straight ahead. Happy Honda Days are here, and you're going to like the holiday clearance savings. Honda, I like it. Save on the Accord, on sale for just $249 a month. That's the North American car of the year for less than the competition. Our most impressive Honda ever, on clearance for only $249 a month, loaded with more options, including a turbocharged engine and Honda Sensing. Do not miss these Honda clearance savings this week at your local Honda dealer. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Every time you purchase a fishing license or register your boat, you're helping to preserve our nation's coastlines, lakes, rivers, and streams, protecting memories for generations to come. Learn how your participation in boating and fishing can help the environment at takemefishing.org slash conservation. I used to dread getting up and going to work. I was done with the corporate grind. I was tired of being a starving artist. And I started looking around for a business that I believed in, and I kind of wanted to do something a little more green. My score mentor helped me take the first step. He helped me create a business plan and helped me implement it. They've really taught me how to think big. SCORE helped me to make the unimaginable possible. All for free. I'm here because of SCORE. I'm here because of SCORE. Get your free business mentor at SCORE.org. Experience true automotive luxury at Sunset Maserati, Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking an anchor slash reporter to co-anchor the Good Morning Suncoast newscast. Experience required. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Well, check out this unbelievable video that will send chills down your spine. Somehow everyone survived this fiery scene in Myanmar. An unmanned hot air balloon packed full of pyrotechnics exploded last week during a festival of lights. Fireworks can be seen shooting from the balloon before it plummets down to the ground and lands on top of spectators. According to the BBC, at least nine people were hurt. Launching balloons with fireworks into the sky is a tradition in this region all to celebrate the end of wet season. 
A man was caught on camera trying to siphon gas from a U-Haul truck in Portland when his plans and his pants went up in flames. Take a look at this surveillance video from a nearby store. The security guards called 911 and then the video shows a man running away with his pants on fire. Portland Fire Rescue quickly knocked down the flames. Investigators say he was trying to steal gas from that U-Haul using tubes to siphon the fuel. Authorities say they did not find the man who was seen running from the burning cars. The Los Angeles Fire Department releasing video of firefighters saving the lives of three people and two dogs from the massive Woolsey fire. Pilots David Nordquist and Joel Smith were conducting a water drop when they got a call for a rescue. They navigated a complex landing site on a ridge crowded with buildings, cars, and several antennas. When they landed, Smith got out and ran to the trapped civilians and animals, including a large and very scared dog that didn't want to get on the chopper. The department releasing this video of the rescue, praising the pilot's heroism. A bear cub is reunited with its mother thanks to a police officer in Northern California who colleagues are calling a bear whisperer. A Truckee police sergeant responded to a report of the mama bear trying to free her cub from a garbage container. Video shows him calling out to the mama bear that he was going to help the baby. The officer climbed on another container and told the cub he was a friend as he lifted the lid. I guess he speaks bear. The cub scampered out and ran to its mother who was watching up a hill. Police say the sergeant has had two bear rescues in recent weeks. He must be a bear whisperer. He's doing something right. Yeah, yeah two they, in a couple they, weeks. They just let him do it. Yeah. That's a skill we all need. They, they were talking to each other and they know about him. Probably. Apparently yeah. in bear code. Still to come on your Suncoast News, the Thanksgiving travel rush is about to begin. We'll tell you when the busiest times are expected on the roads and at the airport. Plus, how All Face Food Bank is giving back to hundreds of Suncoast families this holiday. year-end clearance time at every Ghetto location. Over 3,000 new vehicles, over 1,000 used vehicles on clearance right now at Ghetto.com. And Ghetto Pre-Owned Certified Plus means buying with peace of mind. Get credit help, fast cash for your car, and year-end clearance prices right now at a Ghetto dealership near you. Ghetto's got it. At Ghetto.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Get the best Black Friday deals right now during the Black Friday sales event at Sunset Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram, and Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or get the most awarded SUV of all time, a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999. Find the path to your next great adventure in the all-new Jeep Renegade 4x4 for just $16,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram, Fiat, and Sarasota. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Happy Honda Days are here and you're gonna like the holiday clearance savings. Honda, 
Save on the Accord. On sale for just $249 a month. That's the North American car of the year for less than the competition. Our most impressive Honda ever. On clearance for only $249 a month. Loaded with more options, including a turbocharged engine and Honda Sensing. Do not miss these Honda clearance savings. This week at your local Honda dealer.